Syrian driver of the bus, plus the bomber, whose identity is still unknown. Dozens of others were wounded. The bus had just arrived at the Black Sea city of Burgas when the bomb went off on Wednesday. No group or individual has yet claimed responsibility for the incident. Tel Aviv is already blaming Iran and Hezbollah. Israeli Minister for Military Affairs Ehud Barak has even gone as far as vowing to retaliate. Tehran categorically denies accusations of involvement as ridiculous and sensational. Well, for more on that story, uh, Professor of the Lebanese University, Mohsen Saleh, joins us now from the Lebanese capital, Beirut. Professor Saleh, welcome to the program. Israel's prime minister has accused Hezbollah and later Iran for the attack. Earlier, of course, Israel's minister of military affairs, Yehud Barak, had a longer list that also included uh, Hamas and Islamic Jihad. Is Israel trying to set the stage for new tensions in the region? Uh, I, I don't think uh, so. They are uh, re really preparing for any kind of attack uh, because they can't. That's uh, one thing to say. The other thing is that they are preparing the ground for more attacks and violations of the human rights in Palestine, in Gaza, in West Bank, and probably in uh, violations of uh, 1701, the, the UN resolution concerning the borders in Lebanon, and other uh, media attacks against the uh, Islamic Republic of Iran. Of course, the, uh, the, the, the Israelis know what they have uh, done. They uh, assassinated uh, uh, scholars and scientists uh, in Iran, in Tehran, through their uh, uh, agents or through their conspiracies with some parties like the United States and other European countries probably and they know they have left no space but uh, to uh, tell people they are an enemy of human rights and human uh, human lives even in Palestine and in Lebanon and in Iran and in Gaza in West Bank and uh, in Egypt everywhere they left space a, a huge space uh, for animosities among uh, this usurpation um, uh, among uh, uh, the Israelis, the Jews, and other uh, peoples. That's why they they feel they they are uh, in in the corner. That's why they are saying they they attacking or they saying that Iran or Hezbollah or Hamas or Jihad Islami. Of course. Hamas or Jihad Islami or Hezbollah, they uh, never, probably Hezbollah and Iran never attacked the Israelis outside the battlefield, especially Hezbollah. When the Israelis were occupying South Lebanon, of course, they have to be exposed to all kinds of uh, operations against them because they were uh, occupying Lebanon and still occupying parts of Lebanon and occupying West Bank and parts of Gaza and Palestine uh, 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 as well. That's why they, they feel they have to accuse somebody and they point to the people, they say that this is a, a, a rape of the Palestinian uh, land. Professor Saleh, do you maybe see any link between these accusations and Israel's internal problems, including a growing protest movement that seeks social justice and, of course, a shaky government after the Kadima party uh, quitted Benjamin Netanyahu's coalition? Well, partially, yes, but uh, most probably, I guess, they are saying something to the United States, and they want to uh, pursue the, uh, the, uh, uh, the nuclear program, the peaceful uh, nuclear program uh, in Iran, and they want to uh, try to uh, put rigid violations against the human rights as they are doing through the United Nations and with support of the uh, U.S. and European Union against the Islamic Republic of Iran and its, uh, its program. And of course against Hezbollah now we know that they are really violating all kinds of human rights in the United States and in other places in Lebanon because of some Lebanese they belong to certain to certain sect they uh, they are put in prison and they uh, have been interrogated and uh, accused of all kinds of really fake things of uh, uh, financial support of the resistance in Lebanon that's why i guess the israelis now they really don't know what to do because uh, as I, as i said many peoples in bulgaria in europe 
Europe and other places uh, are anti-Israel. And we know from the expeditions or from the, uh, the, the people who flotilla or other uh, uh, ships, they went to, uh, to help the, the Gazans and the, the Israelis prevented them. And I guess they... All right, uh, Professor uh, of the Lebanese University from Beirut, Mr. Mohsen Saleh, many thanks for sharing your thoughts with us uh, here on Press TV.